Hi, good morning all. In today's session, we talk about the heap data structure. Okay, uh, multiple uh, languages supported that heap data structure to store the data. Uh, okay, why we are today discussing heap because multiple DSA rounds like data structure algorithms round asking the questions uh, which getting solved by the heap. Okay, that's why today we are discussing and multiple companies uh, from role like SD1 to SD3 all the like pressure to 10 years of experience 10 years of experience till that interviews in interviews question is asked around the heap position or a heap algorithms so that uh, and multiple questions is solved using the heap that's why today we are discussing in today's session we talk about the what is mean by heap what is a mean heap what is a max heap how to add element into heap how to remove the element into heap internals of heap and then frequently ask question about the heap and interview question around the heap okay these are the today's content session for our, uh, our our session okay so heap is a data structure and what is mean data structure means there is certain kind of thing where we are storing the data that is a known as a data structure okay heap is a data structure which are storing the data in a certain form like mean heap store the ordered data in a mean to max and a max heap is the same it's a similar data structure we store the data from max to mean okay okay so uh, this is the basic definition between heaps mean heaps and maps heap, uh, okay okay so today first we check about the max heap okay by definition if you check that okay this is a root element okay and we are seeing max heap means this 45 is greater than two of this node that's why we are calling max heap like if you are consider 20 and 10 but here we are defining a 30 that means always max heap in the max heap root element is always greater okay and two elements left is a smaller than a right one so this is a 30 which is which is a smaller and a 40 is a greater okay and root is always greater than a both of thing, things similar happen here like if you consider at here 35 15 uh, so the elements is, is one one is a greater and one is a lesser so based upon the uh, based upon the parameters but suppose the parameter we are checking that okay this is a max heap but basic condition is root element is the always greater than left and right so if you are comparing it 20 and 10 30 is a greater 35 and 50 40 is a greater and then 30 and 40 45 is a greater that's why every time root element came greater from left to right so left to right it is a less than root element okay root element that means is this is a max heap okay in in a mean heap its condition get reverse okay that means from left 8 and 9 but here is a 6 means from left to right left and right root is the less means left or a right it always greater than your root element okay root element is a small e. that satisfies the mean condition mean heap condition okay if you are checking here 5 is a less than from 6 and 7 same way 14 and 20 is is a greater than a 7 7 is a less than 14 and 20 so that follows the, your mean heap condition okay this is this is the condition of a mean heap and a max heap we will we'll check how to element if you add how to element how to get addressed okay and uh, to to the uh, to rearrange the heap there is a function which is called as a heapify if you call heap object dot heapify that means internally they rearrange with the priorities okay so when you are call that time only get uh, the the uh, in in a, in a heap format not every insertion heap get applied okay so if you check here uh, the 17 and 80 okay 17 and 82 element and 20 is here so left and right is a lesser than root that means this is a r max heap left and right is a smaller than root that means this is a max heap okay that we figure out okay max heap okay right now we are adding the 18 element into heap okay so what happened first we check that 18 and 16 which which one is a greater okay so 18 is greater than 16 and we are in a max heap that means we need to swap these two elements so what happen after swapping 13 16 and 18 okay okay this, this will happen so this will follow the r heap condition then we are going to the above condition because here this node we replace so 17 and earlier 16 is here but 16 replaced by 18 and root element is a 20 okay so r r max heap condition get followed yes so we are good here but suppose in example just for example consider this is this is a 23 element this is instead of 18 23 is the element so how it happen so at a first place 13 16 and 23 because we are replacing 16 with the 23 but 23 have the two element 23 like here instead of 18 23 is there like 17 17 is this side 23 and 20 is here so our heap is not following the correct condition because 20 is a less than 23 this swap also need to do so if we are adding 23 then correct our max heap is a 23 then 17 then here uh, like uh, which number here this is a 16 okay then here 15 14 this side won't get changed only 
20 uh, just one second year 20 okay sorry year 20 because we are replacing with the 2023 and this is a 13 and this is a 16 okay that means earlier 23 replaced by here firstly we added 23 here but it get replaced with the 16 then element swap with the 20 20 and then 23 because it it at the top most so three replace we are doing to the balance out or hip if i r max if function okay yeah that's it for today's section uh, let me know if you have any questions around the heap data structure. We'll connect in the next session where we'll discuss about the Java code op and how to do heapify. Okay, that's it. Bye. Thanks.